bone markers. Bone is a living, growing tissue, that is continuously being regenerated at a rate of about 10% a year. It is made up largely of collagen, a protein that gives the bone its tensile strength and framework, and calcium phosphate, a mineralized complex that hardens the bone. This combination of collagen and calcium makes bone strong, and yet flexible enough to bear weight and to withstand stress. More than 99% of the body's calcium is contained in the bones and teeth. The remaining 1% is found in the blood. Throughout your lifetime, old bone is constantly being removed and replaced by new bone. During early childhood and in the teenage years, new bone is added faster than old bone is removed. As a result, bones become larger, heavier, and denser. Bone formation happens faster than bone resorption, until you reach your peak bone mass, in your mid-twenties. After that, bone resorption begins to happen faster than bone formation. Bone loss is accelerated in women in the first few years after the menopause and continues into the postmenopausal years. Usually, bone problems are detected by radiology tests such as X-rays or magnetic resonance imaging. Bone density using special types of very low-dose X-rays is used for fracture risk assessment and the diagnosis of osteoporosis. Bone problems can also be detected by ultrasound scans that use high-frequency sound waves. Bone markers, which are signs of the bone turnover process, are sometimes used as an aid to bone density testing when doctors are evaluating whether or not you have a bone disease. The process involves measuring markers of bone resorption, such as the telopeptides and urine pyridinolines and markers of bone formation, such as bone-specific alkaline phosphatus, procollagen and osteocalcin. Bone resorption markers can be measured in blood or urine. Bone formation markers are measured in blood. Most often, bone markers are used to monitor therapy for bone disease, and to help your doctor determine if your body is responding to treatment. Bone markers can enable your doctor to tell if you are responding to bone strengthening therapy in a much shorter time period than the X-ray types of bone density testing. This way, your therapy can be altered if you are not responding properly to it. There is also some evidence that bone markers can help doctors to predict which breast and prostate cancer patients are at high risk for bone metastases. Bone markers may also be able to predict a patient's response to therapy for a bone loss condition. In some cases, bone markers are requested with other bone mineral density tests to diagnose a bone disease. Bone markers are requested periodically to monitor patients who already have a diagnosed bone condition and who are undergoing therapy to see how well they are responding to treatment.